Yeah, good. Good to see good. Good to be back out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. So we'll start. So I uh, thought today was really productive. I thought um, there's good energy on both sides. And so that was a, um, that was something that's been consistent throughout these practices. Uh, the uh, emotions and the, the energy has been there from the beginning. And so that's just way cool to see ever since really the the walkthroughs and uh, the winter conditioning, that's been the case with this team. And so that's just continued to, uh, to be that way. And so excited for that and what can, what can become with that. Um, I thought the execution was good. I thought offensively connected on some deep, some deep, uh, deep balls today, which was really good. I thought the, the passing game in terms of the vertical game was probably its best today that it's been really all throughout spring. And so I think it, it can be a launching point there. I know the uh, quarterbacks got a lot of confidence off of that. And, um, you know, with the, the wide splits and just the run in here and the passes out here, there's a lot of one-on-ones. And so to connect on those one-on-ones are game changers, you know. And then I thought uh, defensively, I thought we were able to get the ball out a couple times. I thought we were able to, to uh, pursue to the ball. I thought we were able to pressure the, the passer just on base calls. Uh, uh, with technique and, and that. And so it was good to see. I thought a lot of the things that we were working on on both sides going into this, uh, we were able to see evidence that there's execution, which in really in the big picture is really what you want to see because we're so early into it. You want to see hey, the stuff that we're working on is showing up somewhere and it's showing up in a positive way. And we were able to have that today. So take any questions you guys got. How have you seen the kind of the offense and the defense really kind of adapt to what I guess seems to be a much more up tempo style on both sides? Yes. No. Um, so yeah, offensively, I think um, we have we have periods where it's a uh, it's scripted periods, and then we have periods where it's a uh, it's a call it move the ball period, and so um, you know you could see the offense come to life in the the call it move the ball period just because of the momentum and the uh you know how fast the the ball is being snapped and uh the downhill run and the vertical shots and stuff and so um makes it tough on a defense you know and then i think defensively for us it's it's good that i mean whether it's the first game of the year or it's the the um whatever game that's in conference i mean you you can name off a bunch of teams that are very similar to what we're doing and so to get the work on it uh, all the way through is is a positive thing, and so I think we're uh, we're we're relishing really the opportunity to kind of be tested. You know, I think that's the the thing that might be a little bit different is like, hey, this is really hard for us. This is this may not look good or look pretty, but we can either look at deal with it now or or deal with this in October or uh, September, and so it's a positive to go through it now. Coach, I saw him running around a little bit, kind of testing out that knee. Do you have any update on that, on that front? Yeah, he tweaked his knee uh, really early at the start of spring. And so right now he's day to day. And so we're hopeful that here sooner than later we get him back. Uh, there is a chance that it could be later. And so we're still waiting to see um, if we can get him prior to the end of spring. Have you kind of seen that offensive line you know, take shape, obviously, losing a couple of pieces big game this yeah, there is a there is a violence to them. Uh, there is a, a really really strong care factor to them. I think uh, for sure um, on this team there is a chip on the shoulder, and uh, I think it's probably the biggest with that particular group. And uh, you know they they play that way, and I think you know that probably starts from inside out with Colton and. Uh, but then you're looking at guys that uh, like Ryan Lingell that's kind of uh, been a guy on the side and now he's in the middle of it. And then you're looking at young guys like Alvin and, and all that that are just taking a way big step and not like young guys anymore. And so all, a lot of that's cool. Good to see. How's the quarterback room? Looking at anybody <clears throat> separated themselves in, in that regard so far? The competition is, um, is one where it's um, – you know, they're in and out of reps, and so someone starts with the ones, um, the other guy's rotating with the twos, and then the next day you'll get the, the reverse of that. 
and so what you see out of Sawyer is a really strong care factor and then you see the uh, ability to hit on, uh, on intermediate and uh, timing throws and then his ability to run the ball you know on the design runs I think is a uh, is a positive um, and then you, sh you see leadership with him and then with uh, Laquan you just you see his ability to extend plays uh, his ability to hit deep shots uh, and uh, his his ability to uh, to make something happen when something's not there right whether it's a run or pass and so I think he's because a lot of the runs are reads and so I think he's a um, for sure there's an 11th guy you got to defend when it's uh, when it's Quan and then you know I think the other guys are I mean whether it's uh, the uh, you know uh, the move the ball periods, whether it's uh, you know seven on seven, like RJ's, probably his his arm talent might be the best in the room of all of it. And I think like uh, for him to get over, you know, here's the view of it, here's the look, and then here's this all this stuff that's not what it looked like to kind of get past that point. I think is the one thing he's kind of fighting through. But it's just a pure passer. Uh, RJ probably has the the most natural talent that way, and so. We're trying to get him through the, the thing of it looked like this, but it ended up, ended up being that, which is a natural thing for this time of year. What you guys in these spring practices, are they QBs airing out more this year than maybe even compared to a couple of years past at this point in the season? Do you think QBs kind of enjoy that a little bit more? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, and so I think there's more, you know, there was a point in winter uh, in uh, we had walkthroughs and meetings and all that, and so I think we're about into like, walk through or meeting number nine and um you know offensively it was it was they had different words that they would use um uh, uh but when you look at it from a layman view i mean it's all verticals i mean how many ways can you call it a vertical and so i think like that that's that's the throw game it's a vertical throw game and then um with the run the run game in the interior and then the tempo around the edges of it it can be uh um uh, it can it can be very explosive, and so I think, I mean, we saw that today. I mean, there's the, we hit on about two or three of those today, which was a good thing. So hopefully the confidence just takes off from that. What about kind of the benefit of that on the defensive side? Because I know, like Coach Curtis said, it kind of keeps those corners on their toes instead of maybe falling asleep with a lot of run plays during practice. Yeah, I think the um, yeah. So the challenges that you get now are for us in our league. This is what we see, you know. And so whether it's uh, I mean, we could go through all the teams in our league. I mean, there there are semblances and resemblances to what we're seeing right now. And so the work that we're getting is going to carry over to that. And I think, um, you know, that that's that's uh, new for us. And I think that's only going to benefit us. Kind of uh, looking at this <coughs> second spring practice, what do you guys need to do leading up to that spring game, I guess? What's, what's on your mind in terms of improvements that you still haven't seen? We have to execute game-like situations. You know, I think like one example is um, I've been in the back. Um, that's where I've normally been uh, during these situations, calling plays, and I'm not going to be able to be on the field in the back. I'm going to have to be on the sideline. You know, it's I've, I've, I've uh, so I'm going to have to work on the sideline there, and then um, you know we're going to have to be able to get into more substitutions, and we have to integrate special teams more than what we have. And so those are things that have kind of worked. We've uh, part and parceled that out, and we have to come together with all of it in a, in a true scrimmage-like situation. So that's going to be a big jump. Um, and we've got some new pieces uh, that are involved in all that, but I'm excited about that. I, you know, there's a great excitement in the team, and so it's fun when um, everybody wants to be here and everybody wants to do uh, to do better and to do it in a way that uh, kind of makes a statement. So that's fun to be around. Uh, Keaton would be one. I think he's been he uh, he's been one. Carl Williams has been another one. Um, let's see, Tonga has been one. I think when um, there was a couple practices, we have uh, call ups and put ups. So put ups at the end of practice would be players say, "Hey man, this dude's 
doing a great job is put them up and then a call up would be, you know, hey, we can have some improvement and stuff. And so Tonga was, I think, about first three or four days on the other side of that. And so for him, yeah, that's totally flipped now. And so I think he's totally made that transition and is really thriving now. And so I'm excited for what can be. And then I think, you know, offensively, I would probably go to Juan with just his improvement and his, uh, his confidence and all of that. And so positive things. Uh, I think Coach Chaney and even Keaton and Matt Jones are talking about having you in the room there mm-hmm. with the linebackers a little bit more. Have you, now that we're two weeks into spring mm-hmm. practice, have you enjoyed being a little bit more hands-on with the defense? How has that process been like for you over the last couple of weeks? Um, I mean, I, I do. You know, I think whenever it, it used to be when I wasn't involved with the day-to-day football, I could see a lot, you know, um, outside of football. I could see whether, you know, where the team was. I could see where the staff was. I could see kind of, uh, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, all the, the, um, the, where nutrition is and academics is and all of it. And, you know, it's harder when you get into football. It's like we were talking, um, what's the movie, um, was it is it inception where you just go to all these different levels mm-hmm. so you could go at all these different levels of reality where you just go and so when you get into football it's very much that way and it's just harder to see um, the things that you saw before because uh, all you see is football you know which that was the life that I lived prior and so um, it's good to have the help that I've got here um, and so the communication that we have here and then the help that we have here and you know everyone's on board, and it's it's cool when you feel that your uh, people got your back, and you're all working together. So it's a good feeling. Dave, is there a kind of timetable you want specifically towards naming the starting quarterback? What you really feel like uh, is, I guess, a good timetable to do that uh, after last year. You know, came in probably mid summer. Yeah, I would. I don't think there is a right time until a guy's really won it. And so I think the guy's got to win it. And our job is to try to prepare and then get those positions um, set up so that a guy can go out there and win the job. And I think we're not really close to that right now. And so I think uh, the rest of spring will be uh, interesting to look at. And if it's not done by spring, and then we may have to go further. Competition is always a positive piece, and I think anytime you've got really strong competition, and you know what's interesting about this particular uh, instance is it's a new offense, and you know every day it's a new install, and so to juggle all of that um, and then have success on the other end of it is uh, something we're still trying to find a balance with. Thanks, Dave. Okay, Appreciate thank you, so you guys. Much. Appreciate you. So, kind of wrapping up oh. these practices, we're getting closer to that spring game. How do you guys feel, I guess, midway through spring camp? Yeah, I think we're, we're feeling really good. Uh, we're playing faster, uh, more physical. Uh, every day we practice, learning the playbook more and more. Got a bunch of new plays in, and just, uh, more reps we get, more comfort, uh, comfortable we get. What's kind of the energy been like? Just, you know, spring practice can be tough just in terms of y'all are ready to get out there and play the games. How has kind of the energy been over? Yeah, I think we've been doing uh, great with our energy. Uh, Showing a lot of energy right there. Uh, yeah, no, uh, we love it being out here. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, going against the offense every day can get a little bit old, but other than that, it's a lot of fun. And, Is that kind of what it's been like the whole time? Just like, yeah, everyone's kind of clicked in right now, and especially with all these new faces. It's kind of been like that when we just kind of saw it. Just kind of yeah, I think every week that we practice, uh, getting used to how everyone plays, their speed of the game, their knowledge, gets a lot easier knowing your teammates and what they're capable of, what they know, and kind of just learning off each other. Is that different at all from last year? Or, you know, how does that compare? Uh, it's a little different. Last year we had a older group, especially in the D-line. Uh, this year we're a little little younger, uh, a couple, couple new faces. But I think all in all, especially with uh, Coach Noakes being here, DJ being gone, it's a little different, but essentially all the same. You mentioned being younger. You also lost some size. I mean, how is the group kind of responded to that? And I guess is there more being asked upon you kind of in that interior role? Yeah, it's been tough losing uh, two noses same week. Uh, big bodies, we always need those. And yeah, uh, a lot more has been asked of me. 
Um, I was there last year, but sh more snaps in the spring, especially. It's been a, uh, it's been good though. Good What's this, kind of the intensity? Uh, I guess it's a ramp up when you guys step out of the field here. I think it's the second scrimmage that you guys have had. Yeah, I think it's definitely a different feeling when we come into McLean. It's a. Uh, it's different from the, being in the same practice field every day. I think everyone's a little more amped up, excited, uh, ready to show what they can do. And yeah. You kind of mentioned the offense there. What is it like going up against kind of a totally new scheme like that? Is it? Is it? How different is it? Uh, I think it's good for us. They uh, run tempo. It's getting us in shape. It's uh, it's making us think faster on the go, uh, which I think getting the season will be huge. Just uh, being able to see the see the call and getting ready. It's, it's huge for us. Coach Noak, I mean, what's what's your relationship like with him? How have you kind of seen him kind of evolve within this group? Yeah, uh, we're getting closer with him every day. Got here, I think it was right before spring break. I think we had two days with him. So a little hard getting to know him before spring break. But after, it's been good. Uh, we're kind of getting used to his, his coaching style, building him a little more every week. It's just, it's been good. good. NFL draft's coming up. Have you talked to Gabe at all? How much, how often do you guys talk to the rest of those guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I see them every once in a while. We just play a little video games together. Uh, I think they're actually in town today, so I think I'm going to go see them after this. Yeah. Okay. There's some, dude, uh, we play a lot of Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me. By, by, they will admit it, too. <laughs> Are you part of the Call of Duty crew, too? Mm. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, I actually taught my wife how to play. So really? We play together. Yeah, is Cooper really the best? Uh, I haven't played with him, actually. I mostly play split screen with my wife, so okay. yeah. I really wouldn't know. Uh, on the field, I guess, how exciting is it to be kind of here and, and playing, and how much of a step up does that kind of make the whole group feel when you get closer? Um, you know, I think for scrimmage days in, in the stadium, it just elevates the atmosphere for us, you know, and to have, like, some fans or family here, you know, get used to playing in front of a crowd helps uh, for the people who haven't done it before. Last year, I mean, do you feel is, there, is it more comfortable this spring for you? I mean, uh, you know, just kind of being around the team, being in, in the spring slate, I guess. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, it was a new position for me last year, playing more inside, and now I have a year under my belt, so I feel more comfortable in playing my techniques and stuff. Step up some little bit. Okay. Go for it. What's the intensity of stepping out on this field, second scrimmage? Definitely a big improvement from the first week, but still some things we got to clean up. You know, um, the scrimmages are live, so I think everybody as a whole has to up the physicality. Um, that's pretty much it. How would you describe the defensive line group as it stands right now? You lost a couple players. And, uh, how how is the group looking, and how much more do you expect to take on yourself? Um, I think the group looks looks good. We're we're a young group. Um, I'm the oldest one, so I feel like you know it's my job to pull the younger guys with me. But uh, the the group, the chemistry is real good, um, and right now it's just getting everybody going in the right direction. What's been your impression of Coach Noak? Um, Cooper said he kind of got here like, right after spring break. I haven't had much time with him, but I guess how's he how's he kind of coming along? Uh, I really like having Coach Noakes in the room. You know, he was Aaron Donald's coach and. You know, arguably the best defensive lineman there there is. So um, having that expertise in the room helps, and also you know both being from Hawaii, that I think the connection there. So it's been good. Have you noticed any more intensity from Coach Aranda this season, especially him being a little bit more involved in the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, you know I, we hear him more. I think he had uh, was kind of laid back last year on. Uh, working on offense and defense as a whole, but now that he's more involved, uh, I think the standard of play is, has risen. Are you more inside uh, or are you playing some end too? I mean, like, where, where, where do you kind of see yourself on the D-line? Uh, so I, I play end, which, you know, it can be the five, five technique, or it can is three, four, I, two. So kind of, it's it's fluid. Good. Thanks, Thanks, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.